Hi friends! I have been knitting another pair of socks, toe up of course, and um, I'm using a different pattern which I told you about. I really like it. Um, the construction is very different than any other socks I have knit besides the toe up part. Um, and the construction is very nice. I think I will use this pattern again. The pattern um, made sense. I did not um, think that the diagrams, the pictures of how to do the different techniques were helpful. I didn't, didn't think they made any sense. Um, I really need it written out as well. Um, and so this book um, is very handy. The Knitter's Handbook. Um, if you are trying to learn knitting, or like me, you just need reminders about how to do things like make one left and make one right, this is the book for you. Um, it has diagrams, pictures, um, but it also explains it step by step. So um, I used this instead of the diagrams in the um, pattern, but I recommend the pattern and I will link to it and it's called Spice Man. You can find it on Ravelry. But um, I'm going to use two circular needles which I never do for socks but that's what they recommended and it worked out quite well. But look at this funky gusset that you make. So those stitches are purled and these are knit and um, it just fits really well. So um, I highly recommend it knitting retrospective today is a donut. Um, when I lived with my brother and sister-in-law and my nieces in Minnesota, we um, would often go to the local um, donut shop on Saturday mornings and my nieces liked to play with um, pretend food. Um, they liked to play restaurant and um, so I knit some donuts and I think we must have had a box that was for donuts, for real donuts at some point, um, because the picture appears to be my knitted donut in a donut box. It, apparently I wasn't sure how to finish the knitted donut. I hadn't done a temporary cast on like they recommended, but I thought that my technique was easier. So anyway, um, I will link to the knitted donut. The pattern is called Dough Knit, of course. So enjoy the donut. Sadly, there has been a vole um, getting into my garden at night and eating things. Um, I have two kinds of tomatoes out there. Well, three if you count the cherry tomatoes. Um, I have Big Zacks that are huge and um, Early Girl. And he only eats the Big Zacks. He eats um, a big chunk out of them and then leaves them there. And then the next night he eats um, a big chunk out of another one. Um... He also ate um, most of one of my zucchini. And so I wasn't happy. But then he started digging in the carrots. And that's just the last straw. So I trapped him. And we won't go into details about... Um, what happened to him after that but he will not be digging in my garden and hopefully none of his friends will be eating things in my garden so yeah don't mess with my carrots